G'day, Brian Johnson back again. I just want to reiterate Jack's method and you can see the uh, support and resistance Jim Barry's lines. You can see they are about equal, but you can see the separation between the smooth and the normal high Ishi candles and you can see that it's just touched the bottom of the uh, support and the resistance and you can notice that the uh, they're about the same at the moment so nothing's really happening except when you're up here you would have gone short but you can see the the, the uh, at all the times you can see the separation between the two and you can see that the cell volume is down the uh, great british pound is going up a little bit and the australian dollar is also up so it's a mixed market we've got no indication that we should go long because these three have not changed their trend and we have uh, are still in the short mode and so you're simply waiting for the trend so when this comes up bang white if it if it goes white and these two come together then according to jack this is a time that you can look at going long okay it's just reiterating on his points at the moment everything is saying stay short so there's no trades going you can see uh, the, the trades on the, the hedge balance is staying pretty constant um, i think that's a very good sign for you to say that your opening balance and your trades are greater than your opening balance and your hedge is re and your drawdown is relatively low i think if all traders could uh, on the forex could show live videos but many of them have not the courage to do it maybe i don't know why but at the moment we are not trading anything we're just sitting waiting until the conditions are met to enter a trade so when we enter a trade this buy volume should go higher than the sell volume you should have three of these in these three time frames in green and using Jack's idea of the crossover between the shy smooth, uh, the smooth and the um, normal uh, ashiki, hainki ashi and the smooth and the normal touch crossover and when they part there's a trade on the moment the trade for the short is still on if you traded short on that i'm not trading much i'm only giving you advice of what i do and what jack does and did you suddenly see there was a switch instant time the time is now 10:33 p.m in adelaide and 3 p.m in poland you can see the touch of the three it's bounced off the uh, Jim Barry's support and of course once you break that point there and you'll see the quick you'll see the his um, shy new drawing come on when the trend has suddenly gone up it's an ideal time to look at these three and you can see the buy volume has started to go up you've seen this in real time uh, we can't show you yet the shy when it changes over but we'll have a look it's not even in the 15 minute yet it's only in the one minute frame so that's about it for now catch you later you can see we're not ready in the 15 minute frame the shy is still pointing down it was only in the one minute frame and until you go back to the 15 until you have those three in, in green, it's long. If they're on all red, it's short. And here we go. We got a positive lift up. It's broken the barra. And we'll put on one trade. New order. Buy. Yeah, it's big volume at the moment. Now oh, this video won't let me do it. Aha, uh -huh. well, yeah. No, we can't do it. We'll 
ไว้Do you ever have that problem too? Some days you just can't get an order on. Um, just waiting for an opportunity for an order sometimes can save you too. Okay, but that's what we're doing. And here we go. Okay. Okay, we put on the, the two trade. There it is there. You're going to be sitting back watching for plus, minus, plus. But as I said once before, we have no real hesitation in putting this on because we got one on on 10475. And remember in my limit order talking, this is doing it manually in a trading environment that's very, very tough. When this reaches and makes a profit, you take one off and then you got one on, on a lower position and you've taken a profit. So the stop loss is once again, if you're using, um, and we've got to make these a little bit clearer because they're too low for you to see and make, especially me. Okay, his stop loss would be about here. Uh, he would take off one and leave one on. So you'll have a, a, I don't advocate it, but Jack uses a stop loss. It's wise in these moments of high volatility and the crazy currency and the economics of the world. Once again, we're just using plus, minus, plus, goes minus, plus. This is the old minus, plus. Plus, minus, it, profit, loss, profit, loss. We just wait till that goes into profit. We'll show that in the next video. And you've seen it live. Uh, I wish that most traders would have it. See, you've just gone plus profit. And if you're in this environment, you want to take small, lots of quick profits, you would take that off and take one and leave one on. And we'll do that now. Okay, we took a, a quick profit and we still have one on and one on. Uh, if we look at the account history, you'll, you'll see that little profit that just was taken there now. Okay, my challenge is to Forex traders on the Forex. Why not make a video? Show others. We all learn from each other. God bless you. Please do it from Brian. Bye for now. God bless.